Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is your first time watching my channel. Please subscribe, share, like, comment, and uh, press the notification bell. So, uh, whenever I upload the videos in my channel, um, I have uh, received lots of comments regarding my gardening videos. So, um, I thought uh, um, more people like the gardening video. Today, I am going to uh, show you my um, garden and what's the current uh, version. Okay. Uh, so, this is my back garden. I have got lots of uh, roses and uh, uh, different flowers. That's the lemon I have planted when the COVID started. Um, so it's grown up to here. Uh, but I haven't had a uh, you know lemon fruit at all. Um, I don't know why. Actually, this is um, so. How many years we had the corona? I think it's nearly four years, in you know, a four or five years now. So still, I didn't have the um, lemon. Uh, people usually say like uh, I. I the lemon uh, is over two years the the fruit will grow but I don't know what happened I didn't have that one I don't know this is a male lemon or not um, anyway uh, the leaves are very good if you make the um, yogurt curry um, it's, um, the aroma is uh, very nice and uh, it uh, makes more uh, taste if you add the uh, lemon leaves so if you grow on a lemon uh, uh, try uh, to make more curry with the, um, the lemon leaves okay okay um so it's very big if i don't know what happened what happened why it's not uh, growing uh, with the lemon um i'm so uh, curious and excited to see it this is my it's called uh, panikurka in malayalam uh, it's um uh, what is called it's not basil um what it says this is a, a called oregano you usually add for the uh, pizza or uh, sometime is in the pasta this is a bougain villa this is a paper is called paper rose we had uh, i have uh, four or five colors of bougain villa some of them i have received for my birthday as a gift uh, but uh, it's um, most of them is gone i took um, you know uk weather is not good for the bougain villa because it's need a really good hot weather this is the lotus i always plant this one but uh, sometime it's just damaged during the winter then i have to replant again i usually um, plant with the seeds i have uploaded some video how to plant the uh, lotus okay um this is another bogan villa but it hasn't grown at all okay uh these are the some other uh flowers it hasn't got any flower yet but i will show you if it is this is a water uh this is a lily it's uh it's nice but it has got always attack uh some uh, um you know some type of uh, insects and uh, some type of worms i always uh, try if i see i always try to uh, spray with the garlic uh, garlic and onion spray it's very nice but uh, sometime when you are on duty you, you don't observe all the time then you don't have time then it is all, all damaged um yeah these are some uh, garden decorations my birds is uh, work with the solar light okay and there are some uh, different uh, types of flowers uh, on that side but i don't know the name of all that uh, plants and flowers if you if anyone knows about uh, any of these plants name please comment then i will know and other viewers will uh, get uh, to know and it will be beneficial for everyone okay this is my another favorite plant it's always has got a lot so flower in it and no need that much uh, caring okay and uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, small roses that uh, um, in india we say like uh, um nehru subhash chandra bos always um, no not subhash chandra sorry what i'm saying the chacha ji always uh, um, wear a rose flower on you know, his pocket uh, and it's called the chacha jis uh, rose flower that's my climbing roses that has got a, a yellow roses you can see and there are some lilies uh, then some jasmine and some red roses there are lots of things on that one and um, i have added some video how to make that uh, garden arch okay i have bought from the shop and me and my husband um, in, in installed that one then you can see different color of roses and that's uh, you can i don't know that's all gone that's a, a purple color um 
flowers this is very nice smell as well and these are the pink color rose um, it has just overgrown everywhere this looks so nice when I am in my bedroom and um, you know when I get up and open the curtain you can see all these flowers very nice and it makes so much so feel fresh okay um, this is the variety of uh, this different color of that uh, plant i don't know what's the name of the plant when we bought it i always um uh, you know dig that uh, name as well. i may attach the name as well on that plant but it's all gone this is my spring onion i have uploaded a video um uh, about a spring onion recipe so please try to watch that video okay um so these are the uh, different types of roses and you can see there's a um, compost bin that is the compost bin uh, I, I ha I've been using for many years and there is no bad odors comes from that I always use that uh, uh, vegetable peels and uh, you know mm, other things no meat at all okay so it's got a passion root growing it has planted around the last year i think at, at two years i mean it's so totally two years old last year we have got the passion root um i hope uh, i will have more uh, last time it has gone only two so this is the passion root flower it's so pretty isn't it um so let's see uh, how many fruits the passion fruit will give to us okay these are the strawberries as you all know this is a salad leaf but i can't remember what was it this these are the uh, potatoes if you haven't seen potatoes that's the potatoes um you, how you know uh, the potato is ready to uh, harvest it's a uh, car leaves get yellow and it's just get dry uh, not with without water i mean naturally uh, it's yellow color then it time to pick harvest okay these are the strawberries is nearly uh, finishing there's not much uh, strawberry we were harvesting every day uh, lots of strawberries from my garden and make the juices okay i haven't made any jam this time because i don't want it to um, because i try to avoid sugary products these are the uh, pumpkin these are the uh, rosemary this, this is the rosemary uh, it was uh, planted in a uh, big tub so i have just uh, transferred it into the soil because uh, um, it has grown how much it can from that uh, you know the, the the black can so i thought uh, um, it's no good if we need to grow you need to be trans um, transplant to the um, soil uh, these are the pak choy i have uh, had uh, one recipe with it because i actually this is the first time we planted in the garden and we don't know where, when you need to harvest and to, it was too late that was the bay leaves you have just seen okay you can cook, when you cook the biryani you can add that uh, leaves from that okay these are the some of the salad leaves and uh, you can see some uh, um, uh, green color uh, cones because my husband planted some uh, tomatoes and chilies there uh, we are we are really facing uh, we are you know really facing a problem with the slugs and snails and uh, if it is especially if it is raining there will be hundred of slugs and snails there this is the banana leaves so we just uh, kept that um, red in the green cones uh, to prevent attacking from the by the uh, slugs and snail uh, this is the pear you saw earlier that's the gooseberry okay this is the pear um, these all the all all of these uh, fruit trees uh, we have uh, planted after we bought this house okay so it's not that too old and these are the uh, climbing roses i think need to be pruned more because it's just getting uh, very uh, like you know um, it's shapeless now uh, so i need to sort that out soon these are the main we had uh, got lots of mints in our garden but uh, um, i can't see much now i don't know why um, now these are the some uh, cheetahs cheetah means red spinach okay and uh, i have already shown you how uh, what uh, was the um, compost we use because we, our own homegrown compost is not enough for our vegetables you can see um there are so many uh, seeds my husband planted as a tomato i think and he saw the uh, 
cucire adesso spinach ok mm, this whole pan outside okay and we have a water but as well we use the rain water uh, 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 wisely if you are having uh, uh, if you are having difficulty to pay your water bill try to use your um, uh, try to use the rain water i mean in the uk at the moment there are, we are getting lots of uh, rain so collect the rain water rain water is a very good um, source of uh, you know growing the plants it's very good rather than the normal tap water okay that's uh, other onions and uh, these are the uh, tomatoes before people used to say like if you plant um, like uh, coriander uh, mint and the marigold the slex and slain won't attack the plants but now they are uh, so much uh, you know <laughs> they uh, slex and snails uh, is uh, overprotected with that so now is uh, they don't have any problem as it's always attack the plants now so i need to uh, find another solution to uh, remove all this slex and snail i don't know if you anybody knows please let us know so it will be helpful for um, uh, us and the, the other people who love the guard love the gardening and love their plants and vegetables this is called achocha i forgot the original name this is uh, one of our uh, uh, friend chat jos chat given the seeds to us i think jos not jos uh, someone else i forgot his name uh, so these are my current career curry leaves current status um i always add the eggshells tea uh, the you know the electro tea bags this is my lemon water um and uh, um you can add uh, um you know the uh, water you wash the rice before you cook that i always add and after cooking is called uh, uh, like a starch water that is very good for the um, curry leaves plant so i always add everything for my curry leaves i wanted to grow my curry leaves uh, you know nicely but i'm just waiting i will i will give you more updates about my curry leaves these are the coriander leaves i have to cut that coriander leaves now it's uh, that that it is not ready but uh, at the moment when i am uploading this video my coriander leaves overgrown now so yeah uh, this is these are the some other vegetables uh, my husband uh, haven't even wasted any of the uh, bags that is our compost bags okay um we must overuse the plastic i mean i try not to use so plastic but if some of the things we can't avoid in it so if you get the plastic try to overuse it i mean not overuse it reuse it then at least you try to protect our nature these are the um it's called uh, tendora uh, is in malayalam language is called kovaka uh, is very good for the people who has cholesterol it uh, uh, reduce the cholesterol level that's what i heard i am not sure anyway uh, we have tried so many times to plant this vegetable and i always failed this is the first time uh, it uh, has been succeeded so my husband is very excited and telling everyone oh yes we, we managed to plant this tendora <laughs> i don't know this is the um, Uh, snake gourd and uh, I, th i think this is a snake gourd i mean most of the uh, these plants are kept in our uh, um, greenhouse uh, because uh, you know the weather wasn't that good but some of them we have already transferred outside okay so i will give another updates later hmm. so it is really worth to get a greenhouse you know first year the first uh tier when we installed the greenhouse it was in that hot and uh, my curry leaves and some of my plants has damaged it that i was feeling i felt very bad about it uh now it's okay it's nice mm. so um that and on in the right side you can see that's the pumpkin uh, plants okay and this the uh, grapes i mean we have shortened the grapes now still this is growing very well and uh, this the um, white rose oh my god the fragrance is so nice uh, it's the same uh, you know type of roses in growing in india um, i mean you know i have a um, snowfield problem that when I, uh, uh, but whenever i see rose i always go and smell i really like it but then i sneeze <laughs> um so comes back to the grapes it's uh, growing very well 
um, I mean, last year we have given the grapes to uh, some of our friends and uh, we made the wine as well. So this time, this year we have just uh, pruned all the grapes, okay, and uh, because it has grown so well. And these are the strawberries. It is nearly end of the season for the strawberries, yeah. Um, this is some of the plant he, uh, my husband planted from out, uh, planted from the greenhouse to outside. So uh, on the side, that's the blueberry or cranberry. I can't remember what was it. This is the red spinach. Okay, so it's really need good watering. That's the beetroot. Um, that is the uh, big onion. I think it was the pink, uh, pink. Oh no, it's the white onion. I think it is the time to harvest. I have to um, get that out very soon. But I thought when we need, I will make a video when I harvest the onion. I still have got some onions my my home, so I, that's why I'm not uh, picking that yet. Uh, but I will uh, pick very soon. I will try at least one. Then we'll see it how it looks like. Okay, that's uh, some cabbage and. Uh, broccoli we always try to plant cabbage and broccoli but slugs and snails attacks that one that and you have a cabbage and cauliflower um you know bees then um, it's really really uh hard to grow that cabbage and cauliflower uh, without you know attacking that uh, um, slugs and snail this is the um, kale. Kale is uh, another, uh, um, you know, vegetable that uh, um, has got lots of iron and all. This is the uh, olive tree. And uh, um, I, this one I have bought for my birthday. I mean, Shine Chichi. I bought it and Shine Chichi paid it. Paid for that, okay. Okay, these are the different roses. I think I have introduced all my uh, plants and vegetables. You know, I hope you all are enjoying this video. This is where I have planted my cane sure and um, that uh, garlic. My husband pulled all that garlic leaves out from there, but it has got uh, some uh, garlic inside the soil whenever I need it I have to get it out I will uh, uh, make a video about how I am going to harvest that garlic as well it is very safe in the inside the soil isn't it so just leave it there it's very expensive actually you know all the vegetables so if you are trying to plant some of the vegetable in your own space it will be very nice um, you know I, we like to uh, do the gardening whenever we are getting a little bit time. I know um, the works are very um, tiring and exhausted for the, everyone. But uh, um, it will give you more pleasure and uh, uh, instead of going gym, you can do the gardening. That is a very uh, good uh, work to um, remove all the... <laughs> Uh, cal calories not calories like uh, uh, cholesterol and fat and wandered fat from your body so um, at least you can i always uh, motivate the people to do the gardening like if you can grow some green chilies tomatoes onion garlic these are the very easy growing vegetables at least uh, um, that is the ba basic uh, ingredient you need to make any curries like is an onion green chili car leaves if you can because car leaves is very hard to plant in the uk so um, if you plant vegetables and if you have uh, more than enough then you can slice it in the uh, slice and store in the freezer for later so everything is very expensive at least it will be very tasty from your organ